So after understanding, I hope you've understood the aptitude well. And by the way, it is attached as well. Every word which is there in the paper in front of you is explained in the last attached pages of what it means. So please, if you have not gone through, do go through that as well before you write down your queries. The next one is intelligence test, which is done mainly to check on a on your aptitude score so it is like a check and balance we want to double check that you have done the assessment well so verbal intelligence covers your general numerical and verbal and also the speed and comprehension skills and non-verbal covers the spatial and form perception and clerical perception areas now you have your score over there and then you have the percentile rank. Percentile rank means where do you stand in a population of 100 who are exactly like you. Maybe not from the same school but from the same area or from the same class. So if you have a percentile of 80 then you are on the 20th percentile which means you are better than 80 people in that group of 100. And verbal means you have very good logic, reasoning, analytical and comprehension skills which is pertaining to words and numbers. And non-verbal means the same skills but pertaining to designs. This is verbal and non-verbal intelligence test. And the normal range is between 25 to 75. But a good score would be above 50. If you have a score of 25 or 35, then you would really need to check if you have any learning difficulty and you need to get assessed for that as well. The next is the interest test. The interest test, you have to check on the top, it's mentioned 75 and above are to be considered. And verification score needs to be about 25. If the verification score is below 25, then you have probably not done the interest test with interest or you have a reading difficulty or you were not in a mood to do the test. This is a very important test for me to give you the recommendations which are going to keep you happy for the rest of your life. So, I hope that you have, a you have a verification score which is about 26, 27. 28 to 232 is a very good verification score which gives me the comfort level that you are going to do very well. Now, the recommendation comes from the combinations of this interest graph. So, suppose you have interest in computational, persuasive, clerical then you are a person who will be very much interested in working with numbers and also doing management areas of work. Suppose it's outdoor and scientific and social service, then you are meant to be a doctor, but at the same time you would like to do work in the outdoor, so veterinary, marine science or even working with WHO or UNO in the medical field. Suppose it's mechanical and scientific social service, then you are a doctor who will like to work with machinery like orthopedics, orthodontist, physiotherapist, etc. So this is how the combination of careers are recommended to you. Now you can see your career combination and accordingly I would have given you the recommendation. Next, last but not the least is personality assessment, which tells us how well you are adjusted at home, how is your health, your social and emotional. If the scores are higher than the cutoff range, then there is an issue in adjustment. There would be conflicts at home, either with the authority figure or with siblings. And you can uh, see in on my blogs and my articles, I have given recommendations and suggestions for all these areas for confidence building for even for uh, 
uh, emotional management and how to resolve conflicts at home. So this is a complete assessment explanation and my next video I will give you some tips. Thank you.